peeps and welcome back to my channel and this video that's gonna be something super exciting because I am doing let me show you this side this is Sephora but this is actually a beauty exchange like a makeup exchange is it called that I think it's called that with Georgia Harris which is one of my favorite youtubers here on YouTube she's also a friend of mine and I'm so excited to call her my friend we I'm trying not to show my address we decided to send each other some packages. Actually, she was like, how would you like if I send you some makeup that you cannot get a hold of in Sweden or cannot get a hold of that easily in Sweden and you send me some makeup that you like is Swedish or that she cannot get a hold of that easily in US. Is this making any sense at all? I don't know. And we have been saving up. Uh, I bought a bunch of really fun stuff for her and you have to check out what I got her. I'm so excited about the things that I sent her. Uh, I will leave her video down below where she opens the box from me so that you can see what I got here because I got her some Swedish makeup, I got her some like European makeup and I am I am super excited and I hope she likes it and she told me actually that she likes it because she already opened the box. I am recording this on Monday, I got back from Japan yesterday. If you didn't know, I got engaged! Yeah, I know, it's super exciting. My boyfriend, well now my fiance, actually proposed to me when we were in Tokyo. And I would try and do a, like a, I don't know, get ready with me or something, talking about uh, Japan and I, my experience there. I did film and I did vlog, so hopefully that will be up later on as well. But yeah, if you wonder about the ring, the, 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 this is the ring. So I am filming this on Monday and it's going up on Monday, so yeah. <laughs> Time, I'm a bit, a bit short on time, but thank you so much Georgia for doing this exchange with me I love you. I love your channel. I think you're amazing And if you are not subscribed to her channel for any kind of reason, I don't know why it wouldn't be I will leave her channel down below. You have to go check her out She is so amazing and she does so much interesting videos. I love her channel So and she sent me a big box uh, a Sephora box filled with things and as you like let me see if I can just as you can see I haven't opened it it is it is not open so let me let me get out the knife and I can open it so we can see what she sent me because I actually I don't know I don't know she asked me if there was any things in particular that she that she should give me like things that I was looking for and I did mention some things and I also said that actually I wanted to be a surprise and she did mention some things to me as well and I also did get her some things that she uh, doesn't know about so it's like a mix of surprises and not and I actually don't know if she got me the things uh, that I mentioned so it's all very exciting we did put a like a we said that we were gonna buy stuff for $200 uh, Makeup is very expensive here. So I wait I went a bit above but that's only because it's really hard to get like a Box of makeup for $200. So I did get more and I see the top thing is the one thing that I mentioned and I'm so So excited so excited like look at this. Oh my god. This is so good bubble wrap go you Georgia look at this it's a fill box and the top thing is from Nomad Cosmetics and I was so so eager to try this and the one reason why I didn't buy this myself is because look at this it's the Nomad Cosmetics Antil palette and and Antil palette Antilis Antilis is it called Antilis or Antil I don't really know it's the fun palette and you get free shipping if you order this palette to US but there's no such Thing for Sweden so the shipping would have been very expensive so instead Georgia got me this and I'm so excited like look at the color scheme thank you so much for getting me this one I am so excited oh look at this oh it's so pretty Ooh, oh my gosh let me get rid of this one look at this this is a summer palette if I ever saw some, not that I really care about seasons, I'll just wear whatever I want, but oh, these are beautiful! Ooh, some, I, I would say that some seem to be like, like slightly uh, satins and then there's one matte and the other seems to, this one could be a matte with some shimmer in it though, these seem so I don't really know about the texture of these. I think that I'm gonna, I think that I am gonna 
take a good picture of this before I swatch it but yeah keep your eyes peeled on my Instagram my Instagram is always where I post flat lays and swatches and pictures of makeup that I buy or receive so if you're interested in seeing the makeup that I'm showing on my channel more close up don't forget to check my Instagram. I actually love my Instagram and I put a lot of thought into my Instagram. So don't forget to check that out. It's always linked down below in the description box. I do really like my um, Instagram. So I would recommend you to check that out. Thank you so much for that. I'm just putting my Aramona color switch away. Let's just put some of this. Oh, I also mentioned this one. Oh, this is the Lorac Unsipped Desert Sunset. I know that they are discontinuing this, or maybe they already have. I have never tried anything from Lorac. And Lorac is not sold here, and I could probably buy it somewhere. But it's like, ugh. when it's too hard to order something, I just get like, ugh, oh, fine, you keep it then. But now I get to try it. How do you... Ha, ha. I did not open this properly. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna... I'm gonna need a second. It's like it's like one of those packages you have to open in the right way and I, I did not because because I'm stupid. Uh, okay. Oh look at this. Okay, so this oh she is beautiful. Is there something else here? Wait, there's something else here. This seems to be oh this seems to come with an eyeshadow primer, which is really good because I'm almost running out of my eyeshadow primer, so it's really nice to have another one. I like this packaging. This is beautiful Ooh, this is like this is the kind of like neutral toned eyeshadow palette that I can get aboard with it is like rosy it has a purple I want to get into neutrals more and I know that Lorac has an eyeshadow formula that most people seem to love and maybe I should try something neutral with this one I'm so excited to try out Lorac this is beautiful actually it's very neutral though. It's very neutral, but I am really liking the mix of like the purple and the rosy tones. I'm liking that it's so small. If I'm gonna get a neutral palette, I want it to be small uh, because then I can easily like mix and match it with other things. Do I need the packaging? No, I don't. Let me put this away. Okay. Oh, this is so much fun. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to try Lorac. Oh, there's another one of these flower lipsticks. I bought one of these when I was in US. Out of a recommendation from Georgia because this is one of her favorite lipstick formulas. And she got me another one. This is in Fuchsia Flush number 120. Oh, and it is a dark aubergine purple. That is so pretty. I really do enjoy this formula. I have another one. Where do, I Where do I have it? Oh, I actually found it. I'm actually surprised. I have 125 Wild Berry. It is more like a rusty, rusty red. It's really pretty. I've worn this um, in some videos. I have to go save, save something from the dog. What is going on? What is he doing? One second. The dog was trying to eat his bone uh, towards our coffee table, which has metal legs. That's what you heard. So much makeup in here. Georgia! <laughs> oh. OMG. OMG. There. OMG, there's so much makeup in here. Ooh, there is a flower blush in here. I've actually been wanting to try these. They're so pretty. They look a bit like the Milani blushes. This is a beautiful cool tone pink. I've been so into cool tone pinks lately. This is number Sweet Pea PB1. Super pretty. Uh, there is a Essence how pretty is this? This is an Essence Magical, all about the Magical Forest eyeshadow palette. This is pretty. I think that this is like all shimmers, but look at the color scheme. So pastel-y. That is beautiful. This pink looks like what pink dreams are made of. This is nice. Thank you so much. Oh, she actually sent me something that I already have. So I'm going to be honest with you and I'm going to tell you that I already have this one and I actually really do enjoy this one. Uh, I brought this uh, traveling once because I think this is the same as the Lorac palette. It's like a neutral palette that is just 
it's like it got it's got something else but it's small so it's easy to combine with other things and i really do like this maybe i'll keep this either for a giveaway or maybe for a friend do I have a friend who would like this? I don't know. Thank you so much for getting me this, Georgia, but I already do have it, actually. This one, I bought this when I was in New York, and it just came out in stores. Then It was like February or something, and we just got this in stores in Sweden. That's how far behind we are. Uh, so we actually do have these in Sweden now. This one we don't have in Sweden, though. Oh, look at this. It is the Colibri blush. Is it called Colibri? That's what it's called in Sweden. The little birds. This is the baked blush in... Baked blush in... Wait. Hummingbird Hype. It's like a goldy orangey, I'm guessing. This is baked blush. I love a shimmery blush, but maybe this will turn more nectary orangey on the skin, to be honest. Though I cannot wait to try this. Oh, look at this. This is the skull highlighter. These never, like the limited edition collections by Wet n Wild, they never come to Sweden, ever. This is in White Raven. Is that, that is the purpley highlighter, right? Oh my god, I love these as unicorn highlights as well. And this one looks beautiful. Thank you so much. <sighs> this is so much fun. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in purple. That is nice. I don't think I have a purple liquid liner. It's really, I haven't tried these. Are these available too? I don't think that these are available. Like the Wet n Wild, like the things that are available from Wet n Wild in Sweden, it's pretty sad. It's pretty sad. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that. This is the Essence Metal Shock High Eyeshadow. Is this one of those liquidy eyeshadows? Oh, it seems to be. Come out. Ooh. Wow. That is opaque, but this stopper is really hard. Ugh! But that is... Oh my god, do you see that? It's like a pewter, like seafoam pewter. This is in 04 Supernova. It's got some sparkle in it as well. This will make such a pretty smoky eye. Mm. Thank you so much. Actually, I don't think we have Essence here. Or maybe we have Essence online. Or maybe we can buy Essence online from Germany. I've never seen Essence in stores though. I don't think we have that at all. Oh, it's one of those liquid cat suits. Thank you. This is in Nudist Peach. I only have one of these, and that is the Nudie Patootie, the one, the really light one, and I really did enjoy that. So this is this is a nice color. I really like this color. I love peachy lips. Thank you. Oh, this is so much fun. Oh, another one from Flower Beauty. Oh, is this in like an eye crayon? Eyeliner, wait, wait, long wear eyeliner in Amethyst. Let's see if we can open this up. I want to see what it looks like. I haven't heard anything about these. I'm guessing they're good because she sent me one. Let me see. Oh, it's an eyeliner pen. Oh, it's like a smoky purple. I would love this. I actually like using pens like this both on my upper lid and in my waterline. And I think this would be perfect together with purple looks. I don't think I have anything like this. It has a slight shimmer to it almost, like an iridescence. Hmm, it's really interesting. It's a very pretty color. These two go very good together. See for me green and a smoky purple. Apparently that goes really good together. Some really fun stuff here. Oh, another one from Essence. This is the Essence Ultra Last Instant Color. It is a lipstick in uh, O2. Ooh, this is the kind of color I love. It's almost the kind of color I'm wearing. This is lighter though, right? Yeah, it's lighter and it has that slight yellow undertone. I love a nude with a yellow undertone. I think that is absolutely spectacular. Let me swatch this and see what it looks like. Oh, it's like, the, ooh, it's creamy. And it's like a peachy, almost yellowy nude. I adore that color. So excited to wear that. That is so nice. Hm. So exciting. And I see, I see something very exciting here that I did mention. These are some of the astrology like zodiac sign lip glosses from Wet n Wild. I did actually mention that I thought that these looked so much fun. And now I have three of them here. This is um, Cancer. It is like a 
white with like a purpley pink shift super beautiful this is taurus it is an absolutely beautiful super sparkly pink i love a lip gloss like this this is so so amazing and then it's gemini it is like a peachy champagne gold this would probably be so beautiful over like a color like this mm. Super. and this one oh mg this is leo and it is a fiery corally it's like a fiery coral with a pink shift and it's a lot of glitter in it and i cannot wait to wear this it's got a shift because the glitters are either gold it's like a a corally lip gloss with a duochrome gold pink glitter in it oh that is beautiful oh is there there are two more flower lipsticks in here that is, oh this one seems so fun Hibi hibiscus pun intended 85 Ooh, i love a color like this but i rarely wear it this could be really nice together with like a pastel eye look so beautiful and then it's 115 dahlia desire oh it's another one of those like more aubergine color so i think this is lighter right yeah the other one was darker like this is more of a mauve undertone and this is more of a smoky dark aubergine both really pretty colors like berry colors for autumn so pretty i'm so into like bullet lipsticks i love them so much um there is another lipstick here. This is the Matte 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 from Essence in 01. Is this like the other one had more of a satiny glossy finish and this is more of a matte. Ooh, this is like a mauvey pinky one. It's really pretty. Would go really good with this look as well. I did film this look by the way. It's coming later this week. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I'm mentioning it now. It's coming later this week. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's another one of those uh, mega liners. Now I have a blue and a purple. I love a blue liquid liner. Love a blue liquid liner. I think it's so pretty. It's also really nice to use liquid, like colored liners and just paint on your lower lashes instead of using colored uh, mascara if you want to try that look. Oh, there's another... How many flower things did you get me? This is so much fun. We don't have flower beauty here. This is... 015 peachy nude which sounds like something that's right up my alley oh it's so peachy that is beautiful it's this color right here it is a really peachy pinky nude that is a beautiful this one together with like a like a pink eye look would be beautiful it's another one of these oh this is a lip line was the other one a lip liner too no this was an eyeliner right eyeliner this is a lip liner in nude do you love me a good lip liner i'm always looking for the perfect lip liner have you found the perfect lip liner because i always feel like they're like almost right because i like to, uh, stop it. i like the lip liners that are screw up which this one is that color is darker than the packaging and i'm actually quite like oh that is pretty and that is cool Okay, that is beautiful. Imagine how good these two would look together. That would be... Do you even see? I don't think you do. These would be so good together. This was really creamy and I love that it's one of those that you screw up. And the color was beautiful. I have been really enjoying uh, the lip liners from MAC. This is in Honey Pecan, but this is the Lip Tensity Lip Pencil. It's the, it's the same thing that you screw them up. I apparently broke this a bit and now the tip fell out and now I have to look for that. But I really enjoyed this one as well. I've been using that so much lately and this actually did remind me of that one. And then there are two things left here and it is the... Oh, I love Bite Beauty and this is the Bite Beauty French Press Lip Glosses. This is something that I also mentioned because I cannot get Bite Beauty here unless I order from the website and I just don't want to do that. And this is French Press and Flat White. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. I've been, oh, so pretty. These are the two exact colors that I wanted. 
Look at flat white, look at how beautiful this is, and look at this yummy brown. Cannot wait to wear this. Oh, and it does smell a bit like coffee. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful. I like want to change my lip color right now. That was a French press and this is flat white. Oh, that is a beautiful milky nude. I love a good milky nude to wear over like really light uh, nudes. I don't know if you can see them at all. They're, they're here on the side. This was so exciting. Thank you so much, Georgia, for all the things. I have so many lip products to try, which is super exciting. And that eyeshadow palette, the Until, it's so pretty. And I actually am really... I have been in the mindset lately that I was like, I need to widen my horizons. Because people that love neutrals and colors, they have the most to choose from. So I need to learn to love neutrals more. Ooh. And this one is so pretty. I want to do something rosy neutral. So pretty. So pretty. Mm. This sunrise looks divine. Super divine. Okay, I am so excited. I'm so excited. <sighs> have you tried any of the things that I got from Georgia? I have tried, of course, this one ah, that I own. The Wet n Wild one. And I actually really do like this. I think that this is totally worth the price. I think that this is a nice palette and it's so compact and small and I really do enjoy it and I'm so excited to try the other things so excited thank you again Georgia this was amazing this was so much fun and like let me tell you I love giving gifts I in Tokyo I the most things I bought were gifts for others because I love giving gifts and, and I love giving gifts to people that I know will both appreciate it and also will not be, not shy away from give something, not that I'm expecting to get something back, but it, an exchange like this is so much fun because you're giving something and you're getting something and I really hope that Georgia is uh, like loving the things that I got her because I got her some things that I really love and I hope that she'll love it as well. And yeah, this was so much fun. Let me know down below, what are you the most excited for me to try out? Should I do a just trying out video with trying as many of these things as possible? At least some of them I can't try all the lippies, but eh, you know what I mean? Like, let me know down below, what, you, what would you like me to do? Super excited. Thank you again, Georgia. Don't forget to check out her channel down below. I'm gonna go edit this now so that I can have it up later today. And yeah, this was amazing. This was so much fun. Thank you. I will see you in my next video. Bye.